Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm sure you've already heard that Mid Journey version 5 was released last week, and so far, I'm pretty impressed. If you've watched any of my previous Mid Journey videos, you would know that I gave Mid Journey a bit of a hard time for generating images that have like random things in random locations or things that just disappear out of nowhere. But with version 5, apparently this is less likely to happen. Also, with version 5, the images tend to look a bit more realistic um, and not that typical hazy MJ vibe. I did a couple of tests between version 4 and version 5 using the same prompts and look at the difference between the two images. To activate version 5, you can type in dash dash v space 5 as a prompt or you can select it by typing forward slash settings in discord and choose the MJ version 5 option. I came across this thread where this guy called Nick used a chat GPT hack to create prompts for interiors that you can use within Midjourney and some of the images that he created within Midjourney are just like wow really incredible. So I went through this thread and he started talking about tables and additive prompting but he had really lost me at tables and I was just like I don't know what this guy's talking about. Anyways. I managed to figure it out and let me show you what he did. Basically what he did was he asked ChatGPT to create a table and fill it with data based off certain key elements. Key elements being things that he wants to see in the images. The prompt he put into my journey was, please, I mean, how polite is that? Do you think if you ask nicely, ChatGPT will give you a better result? This was the rest of the prompt. Please create a table that breaks down an interior architecture photograph composition into the following key elements, where each of these key elements is a column. Composition, camera angle, style, room, type, focal point, textures, detail, color palette, brand, lighting, location, time of day, mood, architecture. Fill the table with 10 rows of data where composition equals editorial style photo. In the last part of the prompt, he puts in composition equals editorial style photo. And basically what that means is that he wants the entire column of composition to always be editorial style photo. If you want one key element to be consistent throughout, um, use that prompt, but obviously change it to suit whatever you're looking for. But if you're not fussed and you want it all to be varied, then leave that prompt out. Let me stop blabbering and show you what I mean. I'm gonna paste that prompt into ChatGPT and wait for ChatGPT to create the table. Here is the table that it generated. All the key elements are in the top row and there are 10 columns of full data. This is such a cool way to create and organize prompts and also it gives you ideas and styles that you would never normally have thought of. It's like a little checklist of things that you need to remember to input when you are creating an image. Of course, you can always change up the key elements to suit what you're looking for, but this is such a great basis to work from. You can use the data that ChatGPT has provided for you, or you can sort of just change them up to suit whatever you're looking for. I'm going to use a couple of the prompts that ChatGPT generated for me, and I'm gonna show you what the images look like in my journey. The only additional prompt that I'm gonna put in is the Stylize 1000 prompt. And what that does is it creates a lot more detail within your images. I hope you found this video really helpful and I know I sure found Nick's thread incredibly helpful so thanks goes to Nick for posting that information and now that Mid Journey version 5 has come out I really feel like it's going to make a great contender for my next human versus AI challenge. Thank you for watching this video, please subscribe before you go and I'll see you in the next one, bye!